I'm Connor Reed with words to that effect. And the metaphor used by both was, believe it or not, zombie. 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 The recent resurgence of zombies, pride and prejudice, and zombies. This zombie book. The zombie survival guide. Zombie frappuccino. Because of technology. 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 Whether we like it or not, the zombies are coming for us all. Films, books, computer games, comics and TV shows. Historical and mythical zombies. Claims to have proven the scientific truth behind zombification. They're the gruesome cannibalistic monsters of horror and the harmless creatures of children's playground games. They're zombie flash mobs and zombie parades, zombie cocktails and drinks. There's zombie capitalism and zombie corporations. And of course, the zombie apocalypse. They're coming shuffling, inexorably, unthinkingly, to consume us all, to infect us. And there's nothing, it seems, that we can do to stop it. We've all seen a zombie film or TV show. The Walking Dead is one of the most successful TV shows of all time. Or maybe you've just dressed up as a zombie for a Halloween party. You know what a zombie is. Or maybe you don't. Take the following list, for example. Which of these would you consider to be a zombie? A noisy child, a three-legged horse, a wretched dog too weak to bark, a female spirit with a broken neck, the soul of a person caught in a bottle, a person with catatonic schizophrenia expelled from their community, a bewitched slave, a coughing spectre that spreads tuberculosis, an entranced person easily returned to life by eating salt, a figure... In the- You've been listening to the latest episode of Words to That Effect. Thanks for listening, and I hope you want to hear the rest. You can get this episode on Apple Podcasts, on Stitcher, Google Play, or wherever you normally get your podcasts. Or you can go to the Words to That Effect website, which is wttepodcast.com. Thanks very much.